All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week, we're making a beautiful beef fried rice. This is gonna be a super quick midweek meal made in one pan, so it's quick to prep, quick to cut, and quick to wash up. But most of all, it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So come on, guys, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's get a large frying pan on a really hot heat. Now, in this bowl, I've got some beautiful flank steak, which I've just chopped up on the angle and across the grain. We're gonna marinate that nice and quick. So I've got about three cloves of garlic, which we've roughly chopped up. Now I want it nice and spicy. So we're gonna add some dried chili flakes. Let's add a little splash of light soy sauce and a drizzle of peanut oil. Now, using your hands, let's mix that all together. That looks great. We're gonna pop that aside and we're gonna cook that in a minute. Okay, the pan's nice and hot. Let's add a good splash of oil. I've got an egg which we've just whisked up here. Get the egg in. We're gonna move that around. Literally 20 seconds, that is done. I'm gonna break that up into nice big pieces. Now let's get that onto a plate. Okay, pan back on the heat, I want that really nice and hot. Okay, we're gonna get the beef in. Now guys, we don't wanna stir fry this around just at the moment, I just wanna leave that on the bottom of the pan. We wanna get that kind of a little bit searing. That's the thing, if you're gonna use a wok, then you need to have really screaming hot heat. I'm using this gas burner, and to be honest, if you're cooking on gas at home, you're still not gonna get it hot enough to get that really lovely kind of like wok flavor that you get from cooking in, a, cooking in a wok. So the best thing to do is use a flat bottom frying pan and just leave it there so you get that slightly charring um, from, uh, from the vegetables or the meat or whatever. Anyway, let's give that a toss. Get some green onions or spring onions in there. We're gonna move that around. Okay, that is looking absolutely brilliant, so let's just get that out into a bowl. Back on the heat, let's get that searing hot again. We're gonna add a splash more oil, and then I've got one red onion, sorry, actually half a red onion, which I've roughly chopped up. Let's get that in. We're gonna move that around a little bit. Again, just let that sit there, let that kind of get that little charring on it. So I've just finally chopped up some kale. That's just gonna work really well. You know, we've gotta get some greens in here as well, guys, haven't we? Gotta get your greens in. So let's move that around. Okay, now we're talking. This is starting to look really good. It smells absolutely wonderful. You've got all those lovely flavors being picked up from the frying pan. So now I'm just gonna add in some old rice. So when I say old rice, it means rice that I cooked off. It's been in the fridge. We need to use it up. Let's get that in. And don't be scared to add a splash more oil for this, guys. It's called fried rice for a reason, yeah? So uh, we're gonna move that around. I actually like to drop the temperature, okay? Drop the temperature, move that around. And now we can just add in probably about two or three tablespoons of light soy sauce again. We're gonna move that around, keep moving it. Okay, that is all coming together beautifully. So we're gonna add back in our egg. Let's get in our beef. Right guys, this is looking wonderful. As you can see, I mean, this has literally been five, six minutes to cook. We're gonna finish that off with a little bit of sesame oil. And guys, it's time to plate up. Right, here we go, guys. Look at that, look at that. Let's grab a fork. Oh my God, it smells oh, incredible. Incredible. Let's give it a taste. Mm. 
Guys, look what I forgot to put in. A whole load of Serrano chilies, nice, really hot chilies. So it does need a little bit more spicing up for that. If you don't like spice, you will love this, but I love spicy food. And that is, it's really good guys. And do you know what I love about it the most? How few ingredients do you need to go and buy? So a bit of light soy sauce, sesame oil, perfect. That's all you need. And uh, everything else you can easily buy in the supermarket. You know, in fact, you can buy all, all this stuff in the supermarket. I'm gonna enjoy that. Let me know if you think that's a wonderful family recipe. Give us a thumbs up, get in the comments. I will see you next week. I'm gonna share this with my wife with a bit of sriracha as well. Take care guys, bye-bye. <laughs>